While the Italian front of World War I tends to be less emphasized in terms of aviation, it was also the setting of fierce combats in the air. Most commonly, the clashes above the Adriatic opposed Italian naval aircraft to their Austro-Hungarian counterparts. From these engagements, two men from the Austrian side stood out thanks to their victories over enemy aircraft, and earned the title of ace. One was the well-known Gottfried von Banfield, the greatest flying boat ace of all time. The other was the subject of this video, the obscure but intelligent and courageous Friedrich Lang. Nothing is known about Lang's early life, other than he was born in Austria. He joined the Austro-Hungarian Navy in 1912, and was made naval cadet candidate on September 11th of that year. After completing his training at the naval cadet school, Lang was assigned to a number of different naval vessels, serving with distinction. On February 1st, 1914, he was appointed naval cadet, and was in shipboard service when war erupted. He was promoted to naval ensign on July 1st, 1915, and decorated for bravery in combat with the Silver Bravery Medal, 2nd Class, for service aboard the destroyer Balaton. However, Lang found himself dissatisfied with life aboard, and requested a transfer to the Naval Air Service in early 1916. His appeal was approved, and Lang was assigned to the Naval Flyer School near Pola, modern-day Pula, Croatia, on March 21, 1916. On May 1st, Lang was promoted to Naval Lieutenant, and on June 20th, he received the Austrian Naval Pilot Certificate No. 60. At first, Lang was assigned to the Naval Air Station at Kumbor, near the naval base located in Cattaro, modern-day Kotor, Montenegro. However, after a brief period, Lang transferred to Durazzo, known today as Duras, in Albania. Lang flew several aircraft while stationed there, most notably Lona flying boats, on a myriad of missions, including reconnaissance, bombing of land and sea targets, and protection of ships and other aircraft. On the morning of August 22, 1916, six Farma aircraft of the Italian 34th Squadron were on a bombing mission to Durazzo. As the base learned of the threat, Lang took off in the Lona TL L131, with Franz Kohlhauser as his observer. The Austrians managed to intercept the attack in formation between Cape Laghi, nowadays called Capi Ilegit, and the Shkumbin River estuary. Attacking the first Farma he saw, Lang closed in within 500 feet before Kohlhauser opened fire with his machine gun. After 10 minutes of fire exchange, the Italians released their bombs and glided down in the direction of an Italian destroyer. The Italian pilot then fired his stress flare before crash landing into the sea. The aircraft's occupants were then rescued by the destroyer's crew. The Austrians were almost immediately engaged in a second battle with another Farman, whose crew, according to both Lang and Kohlhauser, wore French uniforms. The two aircraft close to within 100 feet of each other and crashed in a vicious dogfight, with the machines alternating firing passes for about half an hour until the Farman glided down to force land alongside an Italian destroyer. Despite being riddled with bullet holes, Lang and Kohlhauser managed to bring the Lona back to Durazzo, where the machine was subjected to extensive repairs. This encounter, however, meant that Lang had achieved his first two victories over enemy aircraft. In January 1917, Lang was assigned to the naval air station at Pola. This was a much larger base, and its close proximity with the Italian border meant Lang flew a large variety in quantity of missions. For this service, Lang was awarded the Military Merit Cross, 3rd Class, with War Decoration and Swords, as well as the Silver Military Merit Medal, with Swords. As the Italian attacks against Pola became increasingly more severe, it was decided to form a specialized land-based fire detachment in September 1917. This unit was based at Altura Airfield, just inland from the naval base, and Lang was one of its first members. On May 19, 1918, Lang took off from Altura flying a Phoenix D-1 together with three other pilots. They came across an Italian formation of two reconnaissance aircraft, 
escorted by four Maki M5 flying boats. Engaging the enemy, Lang quickly disposed of two of the M5s, with both flying boats going down about 20 nautical miles east of the mouth of the river Po. These were his third and fourth confirmed victories. Lang's ace status came three months later, on August 12th. Flying his Phoenix D1, he engaged the Maki M3 flying boat at an altitude of 330 feet 28 miles east of Peneda, presumably shooting it down in flames. In reality, the crew of the Italian aircraft had feigned being disabled, and when the Austrian fighters left, they took off again and returned to their base in Venice. Lang was nevertheless credited with his fifth victory and corresponding ace status, achieving such feat shortly before the end of the conflict. For his service at Altura, Lang received the Second Military Merit Cross, Third Class, with War Decoration and Swords, becoming one of the very few naval officers to receive this award twice. He was also awarded the even greater Order of the Iron Crown, Third Class, with War Decoration and Swords. The amount of information available on Lang after World War I is about the same as the details regarding his early life. He survived the war, formally separating from the now defunct Austro-Hungarian Navy on March 31, 1919. It's known that Lang lived until at least the late 1930s, but from then on, the ace fades into obscurity. One of Austria-Hungary's most decorated naval officers, the skilled and dedicated Friedrich Lang disappeared as he had emerged, but not without leaving his mark in aviation history. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.